Hello YouTube, Mike Walkman here, Mushroom Rangers, and this is for Joel. He has a kit like this, and we're both having trouble getting them to fruit on your kitchen counter. So, this is my advice, Joel. Cut the bag completely open. Take your hand, make sure it's washed, and then just scrape all that matted material on top. Just scrape it away, throw it in the garbage. And then what you're going to do is you're going to fold it. Right along the gussets. Well, after you uh, scrape it all off, then you give it a little bit of mist. And then you're going to fold it down the gussets or the creases. Yeah, it's going to take a mm, couple minutes. And then, you see the filter patch? You're going to want that covered. So you're going to fold it. And then fold it again. And then you're going to take it. Over to your fridge. And then you're going to place it in the fridge. Like that with the folded down part so it stays shut this is known as cold shocking what happens is in regular mushroom fruiting in the wild what happens is it gets it get warm and then it rains and then that cold water shocks the mycelium into producing fruit because it know now it knows it has enough water to produce the fruit if there's not enough water, it won't produce fruit. So after a nice cold rain, and then the, the temperatures drop down to like below 60, then they'll start to pop. Since your refrigerator gets down to like 38, 40, something like that, this is the best way to do it. Plus, as you can see, there's some humidity in here as well. So what you're gonna wanna do is just leave it in there for a week. Don't worry about it not having light because it doesn't need light to grow. Uh, mushrooms are phototrophic. They just need light in to know in which way to grow. So if the light, light was over here, the mushrooms would grow that way. But for this, we're just going to cold shock it for a week to simulate the cold ring. So this is the last ditch effort. Normally this is what I do in my fruiting chambers. Usually I take them out of the uh, in, uh, incubation chamber that's at 72 and then put them in my fruiting chamber at optimal ranges, meaning that it's anywhere from like 50 to 62. It gives it that nice little, that cold plus the, the humidity. So once you sprayed it, it'll be cold and then the humidity will stay in here and hopefully we'll get to get them pinned either on the top or on the sides so I'll check back with you in a couple days and a couple days after that and this is the route we're gonna have to go so uh, blessed be and keep it fun guys